Hello everyone, this is Kenny CM from Johnson Johnson. My topic is SaaS Helper, a better SaaS data site viewer. Here's the agenda. First, I will talk about the background to develop this tool. Then I will talk about the key features of SaaS Helper. And also I will mention the technical issues and the challenge in the development. Then I will do a quick demo. Okay, talk about the background. Um, I will mention three data set viewer. The first one is the SaaS Sigma viewer. I think for SaaS programmers, if you have more than 10 years um, SaaS experience, I think you are familiar with this one, the SaaS Sigma viewer. Okay, then the next one is the SaaS Universal viewer. Mm, this one, I think um, currently it is the primary SaaS data set viewer. Okay, for this one, it's a totally newly application. Mm, here, the new, in fact, it's not quite new. In fact, this mm, for this tool is also about 10 years. It's just to compare to the SaaS system viewer. Um, and this tool supports um, library. Or direct, it is a directory oriented tool. And for its filtering system, it is data aware and uh, largely manual driven. It's good, but it is not efficient. Then it's the data explorer of SAS LSOF. LSOF means left size analytics framework. At the right side, you can see two screenshots from SAS LSOF. The top one is a contest menu. It shows if you right click on the weight column, a contest menu will show. Then you can click on the contest menu to do a quick filter. The bottom one, it's on the statistics. Here you can see for the column of variable sex, we can see its distinct value, female, male, and also the frequency. In fact, some people say mm, the data explorer also is the best part. Okay. So the three set viewers, they have their advantages, but they are, they are not ideal data set viewer. So we decided to develop our own tool. We identified several key features. The first one, the tool should fast response like SAS system viewer. The second one is it should support library or folder paths. The third one is the filtering system. It should like the data explorer or else. The last one, we can use it to do basic statistics. Okay. Then based on this, we developed the two SaaS helper. And I will quickly show the key features. Then the first one is fast response. This tool is developed using C and C++. So it responds very, very fast. It's high performance. Talk about the library support. Currently, this tool supports 126 libraries. For the first version mm, released in Johnson Johnson, I mean the beta version, we only support 26 libraries. But some such helper heavy users ask more. So now this tool supports 126 libraries. All these libraries will be automatically saved when you close such helper but all of them will be reloaded when you open it next time. For this feature, we think we do more than SaaS universal viewer. This is a screenshot. At the left side, you can see there's one workspace and the two libraries are shown here. Okay, talk about the filter system. For the filter system, we have two kinds of filter. 
The first one is data site filter, and the other one is the library filter. First, the data site filter, it only works in a data site. Here also mentioned subsite from a frequency window. Mm, maybe now you confuse with this with, with this one, but I will show a demo. You will get a better understanding. And for the future, we support undo. Okay, another screenshot for the future. From here, you can see if you right click on the use subject ID you will get the contest menu. Then you just click, you can do a filter. If you have more con conditions, you, you just continue to right click and add more condition. Okay, then uh, it is the library filter. Library filter is for the keys. In here you can, you can see that you may want to check the data of one subject across different domains. In that, in that case, you can define a library filter. For example, here, if we define the use subject ID is study 01001, then all the data sites opened subsequently will apply this filter first. Okay, to distinguish the data set filter and the library filter, here you can see the difference where is for the library filter, the if is for the data set filter. Okay, for the frequency, we only, in fact, it's for the basic statistics, we only support frequency. But the frequency will support both character variables and numerical variables. And you can also quickly to get the frequency for multiple variables. And also, we not mm, just count the observations, we can also count distinct use subject ID. Okay, the screenshot for frequency. Here is the frequency window. From here, you can do a subsite. Okay, another feature, here you can see shortcuts in the highlight and, and also one lighter. You know that usually for the shortcuts case, it's a combination. For example, the control C, control V is a combination, but um, such hyper is just a data site viewer. It's not an editor. So we just need one key for the shortcut. For example, we use D for data site filter, we use L for library filter, we use F for frequency. Okay. There are so many shortcut keys. So we, we also have a window to show the shortcut keys. Here is the flexible layout. Okay, I just quickly go through it. One type for one this side, and the this side could decide to be that side. And uh, some windows like uh, variables, you can pin or unpin. And uh, the other features. Mm, like it support both static site and also such transport file. Mm, definitely, you, there's a search feature you can search in this site. If you want to copy data, mm, for example, copy the data to the email, the variable name will be copied along with the data. You can shift the variable left or right, and this is helper doesn't lock files. That means even the static site is opened by such helper, you can still update as the backend. And uh, a, bad a good feature is that such helper can handle all the formats like such universal viewer. Okay, here's just a summary. 
for the technical issue, I think maybe you you will be interested in um, the backend library. And this tool is based on open source library readstat. Readstat is a command line tool and a MIT licensed C library for reading files from popular stats packages like SAS, Stata, and SPSS. And the biggest challenge in the development um, is to handle the SAS data side compression. By default, ReadStat only supports two options. The, the first one is that SAS data side is not comprised. The second one is the data side is comprised with the algorithm character, um, but for the binary, is not supported. In the beta release, um, some user um, give us some feedback. They mentioned that some data side could not be opened. And when we dig into it, we found that um, the data side comprised with binary option could not be opened by says helper. Then we have to um, spend a lot of time to work it out. Now, such helper can handle these three comprised options. Okay, the acknowledgement. Okay, then I will do a quick demo. Let me open that helper. Okay, open the first this site here, ADSL. Open it. Okay, at the left side, you can see the workspace. When you open one data site, the folder is added here. Then from here, you can also quickly open another data site, such as ADAE. Mm, okay, the first one, maybe I can sh show how to quickly get the frequencies. Mm, for example, if we want to do the frequency for the arm, just right click on any value. Right click on any value, you will get the context menu. Here, frequency. Click the frequency, you will get it. The distinct value and the frequencies. Mm, we have another one is to count frequency is distinct use subject ID. If I click here, you can see the frequency. Mm, the column header is changed, FIQ use subject ID, but the number doesn't change. The reason is that because it is an ADSL this site, mm, let's change to ADAE. For example, here we use TRTA, the actual treatment. Let's do the frequency. This is the number, but if we do the frequency use subject ID, you can see. It's changed. Okay, the shortcut key for this one is just one letter F. So here you just click anywhere or one variable, press F, you will get the frequency. For this one, it's also supporting numerical variables. And also you can start here and you can start here. Okay, this is for the frequency. Then I will show the filter. Take an um, example. If we want to filter placeable, just right click on placeable and select the, this one. If arm um, equal to placeable, we will go out all the rows with arm um, equal to placeable. And at the bottom, you can see now here we have 86 rows. Uh, 254. This this feature, you can right click and clear the decide filter. Um, let me show another one. I use the shortcut key. I, I use shortcut key D. D means for decide filter. D. Then here, I press D again. So 
to the future very, very quick. Then I press Z to undo. You can see it changed to arm um, to Please go. If I press Z again, the filter is removed. Um, in fact, you can do the filter for multiple um, values. For example, if I use the control, hold the control key, select multiple. Here, I select three. In that case, I need to use this one. If subject ID in, it is selected. Okay. This is the this site filter. I will click click it, and I will also show how to subside from the frequency. For example, let's do the frequency first. Okay, at the right side we got the frequency. You can just click any value and press D again. You do the filter. Okay. Remove the desired filter. Then I will talk about the library filter. The library could um, take this one example. If we want to cite a library filter, right click, we use the where statement. Where click. Now we cite a library filter. And at the bottom, you can see LF library filter. It is in right color. Okay, let's try to open ADA again. Now you can see this one. Only this subject. We can clear the library filter. Once you clear it, if you go to ADSL, you will find all will be shown. This is the basic feature. And for the others, um, such as you can view all the variables, you can hide and hide variable. For example, maybe you can hide all variable first. Then just select the variables you are interested in. In this case, you can have a good view of the data site. And definitely you can sort the data site by click anywhere. Okay, I think this is for the demo. Mm, the most important features are demoed. Okay, any question? <laughs>